Right now, scientists are working to figure out what that big ball of fire was that soared over Northern California tonight, causing a loud boom. Good evening, everyone. I'm Carolyn Johnson. And I'm Dan Ashley. It was seen from Monterey to Mendocino and east to Sacramento. ABC 7 News reporter Alan Wong is live at the Chabot Space and Science Center in Oakland tonight with a story. Alan. Yeah, and there were several astronomers here tonight hosting an event, but they were so busy speaking to the guests that they missed the excitement. There were, however, plenty of people who saw it and some who took pictures. These are some photos taken by a very alert guy named Bob Marino. He says he was in Santa Rosa watching a girls' varsity soccer game at Cardinal Newman High School when he saw this thing streak across the sky at a low altitude, followed by a loud boom. We spoke to several people who saw it in Oakland's Jack London Square around 7.45 tonight. We'll hear from them, followed by an astronomer here at the Chabot Space and Science Center who tells us what it really was. I look over, saw like a crescent-shaped object, like reddish-orange in color. But as it went away, it started kind of getting, getting larger, it's kind of expanding. I can't really describe exactly what I've seen, but it was something uh, abnormal. How long did it last? Uh, I just seen two seconds. I'm not sure if it was a meteor or not, because a meteor drops right out of the sky. This thing was going sideways across the sky. So uh, to say it was a meteor, I can't. I, I, I don't believe that. Basically, you saw a small car-sized piece of rock and metal from the asteroid belt crash through the layers of Earth's atmosphere, ionizing and setting the air on fire in its wake. Little pieces of it as it broke up probably crashed in the hills around Martinez, north of here. And you might have even heard a sonic boom as it uh, crashed through the atmosphere at speeds of over the speed of sound. So it was a meteor that probably crashed into the hills around Martinez. Astronomers say this is not rare. In fact, 15,000 pounds of space material crashes into the Earth every year. It's just not often that it happens over a densely populated area. They say it came into the atmosphere doing about 25,000 miles per hour, but slowed down and hit at about 300 miles per hour. So again, it was a meteor that lit up the sky tonight and even caused a sonic boom. I'm Alan Wong reporting live from the Chabot Space and Science Center in Oakland, ABC 7 News. All right, Alan, thank you. And as you'd expect, the fireball is trending on Twitter tonight with scores of people saying they witnessed the spectacle. It was a picture-perfect night for a meteor sighting. ABC 7 meteorologist Sandy Patel is here with more for us. Sandy. Yeah, Carolyn, indeed it was a picture-perfect night. Actually, as a matter of fact, the American Meteor Society logged dozens of reports uh, just tonight of this meteor sighting. And as we take a look at this picture from Gene, it was sent to you report, and you can see that streak of light there. D. Mill 415 tweets, this is in Roner Park, and it had me out of my seat. This thing was no joke. He's referring to the meteor, of course. Tamara posts on Facebook, it rattled the house in Belmont. And you can see as we check out live Doppler 7 HD why this was the case. We obviously had clear skies. It is still clear tonight. We are in for another warm to hot afternoon tomorrow. And as a matter of fact, red flag warnings are going. I'll be back uh, to talk more about that and let you know when some big changes will be coming in just a few minutes. All right, Sandia, thanks. And we want to see your video and photos of tonight's meteor. You can email them to us at ureport at kgo-tv.com or share them with us at facebook.com slash ABC7 News or on Twitter at ABC7 News Bay Area. We've posted a slideshow for you as well on abc7news.com.